Welcome to pre-math. In this tutorial, we have got this interesting puzzle, as you can see in this figure, and we are supposed to fill out these boxes such that if we add, subtract, multiply, or divide, we are supposed to get these numbers 5, 8, 1, and 19. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first step we are going to do. We are going to label these boxes and here's our strategy that we are going to apply. Let me call this box an A. Then uh, we are going to put down something over here such that if we add these two boxes we are supposed to get 19 and obviously you can see that this number is going to be over here is going to be 19 minus a isn't it and now we can see that a plus 19 minus a this a and a cancels out we're going to have 19 and now let me go ahead and call this box b then uh, we are going to fill in this box such that this box which is b minus this question mark should give us one and obviously this got to be b minus one and if you are not sure let's go ahead and write down this is i wrote down b and then this minus sign and then parentheses b minus 1 so b let's distribute this thing minus b plus 1 negative b and positive b is gone so we ended up with 1 and that is correct and here's our next step let's go ahead and look at these horizontal boxes a divided by b equals to 5 i can write down a divided by b equal to 5 and now this 5 could be written as 5 over 1 let's go ahead and cross multiply them so that is going to give us a equal to 5 b so far so good and now let's focus on these horizontal boxes we got 19 minus a times b minus 1 is 8 now let's go ahead and write it down. I can write 19 minus A times B minus 1 equal to 8. And now we can see our A equal to 5B. I'm going to replace it by over here. So this could be written as 19 minus 5B times B minus 1 equals to 8. Let's go ahead and use a foil method double distribution. We are going to multiply them out. So that's going to give us 19b minus 19 minus 5b square plus 5b equals to 8. Let's combine the like terms. I'm going to write down negative 5 b square plus 24 b minus 19 equal to 8. Let's move everything to the right hand side. So we are going to have 8 plus 5 b square minus 24 b plus 19 equal to 0. So that is going to give us 5b square minus 24b plus 27 equal to 0. And now we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve it for b by first doing the grouping technique and then by factoring. And here I'm going to tweak this negative 24b. So let's go ahead and write down 5b square. And negative 24 could be written as negative 15b minus 9 
b isn't it that is still is going to give us negative 24 b and then plus 27 equal to 0 and now in this first pair we can see that 5 b is in common i can factor that one out we got b minus 3 inside this parentheses now let's look at this second pair I can factor out negative 9 so we got b minus 3 inside this parentheses as well and that is equal to 0 and now we can see that this b minus 3 and this b minus 3 is in common we can factor it out so I can write this one b minus 3 times 5 b minus 9 equal to 0 and now let's go ahead and split them up we're gonna separate them I'm gonna put b minus 3 equal to 0 and the other one is 5 b minus 9 equal to 0 that means b equal to positive 3 is one of our values and the other one is going to be b equal to positive 9 over 5 so we got two b values and now we are going to pick this easiest one this whole number 3 so let's go ahead and pick b equal to 3 value so that means in this box our value is going to be 3 and we know that a equal to 5b and we know b equals to 3 so a is going to be equal to 5 times 3 that is going to make 15 so that means a equal to 15 so our a value turns out to be 15 now we can find out the value in this box we know 19 minus a and a is 15 so 19 minus 15 is going to give us 4 so our this box value is 4 and likewise in this box over here b minus 1 we know b is 3 3 minus 1 is going to give us 2 so thus our values for box a is 15 for box b is 3 this next box is 4 and this fourth box is 2 and now if we try b equals to 9 over 5 we can find another set of values and i want you to try on your own thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye